24, here's meteorologist Tom Atkins, your weather authority. You know, we've had some beautiful sunsets despite clouds, so we're just lining up our U.S. netting cam from the Renaissance Center out over the Bay, Presque Isle, and up towards Canada there. So, you know, we're in and out of clouds, hardly any, if any, rainfall, but you know, depending where you are, you know, you might squeeze a good one out tonight because sunset, of course, is just after 6.30. So we'll see what happens in the next hour. Small craft advisories on the lake tomorrow, another windy day. This time out of the southwest at 20 to 30 with waves building to 3 to 7 and showers most likely midday into the afternoon as they are across much of the area. Thanks, uh, Kathy Youngsville. Uh, this is the Tidiute Overlook. So we're just getting these gorgeous foliage shots uh, out east into the mountains there. Very pretty. Uh, as far as temperatures go for today, we got to 63. Again, Lake Breeze took over. So not as warm as it could have been, clouds moving in, but uh, really no damage done. It's still technically above normal there and there as well. So uh, no records to worry about. And again, precipitation, none for today. We'll get our shot tomorrow. We've dropped a little bit below normal for the month. And of course, we've been, you know, three and a half, four inches below normal for the year. So warm to start tomorrow, and then a cool finish as that front goes through with its wind and it showers, and then you got a lake effect day on Friday. Chilly, brisk, damp, showers, can't rule out some thunder rumbling around, can't rule out water spouts on the lake. That's typical lake effect weather on Friday. But the interesting thing is, is that not a lot of showers left on Saturday, so it turns out mainly dry, and it slowly gets milder over the weekend. So uh, 60 right now from the pier. Uh, 58, Joe in Northeast, 63, Becky in French Creek, Keith and McCain at 58. And these are fairly typical temperatures, even with the clouds knocking them down a little. 64, Patty in Meadville, 60, Dave in Cranesville. And uh, out east, uh, John in Ludlow, cool spot 56, but 62 in Chandler's Valley. So temperatures are okay, and winds are mighty light for now. These are going to pick up tonight out of tomorrow as this warm front heads towards our area. Now, most of this precipitation is missing our area tonight, but tomorrow with the main front out here, you're going to get a much better shot in the afternoon. So you can see the temperatures actually pooling into the 70s out here, so it's not out of the question that we could make a run at 70 tomorrow before the front goes through. But look at these dew points. The air is very dry uh, across our area, so don't expect much, if any, rain tonight in the first part of tomorrow. Here's your maps in motion, and here are those southerly winds represented by the red arrows. Now, tomorrow, clouds come into the area, and then probably the best chance for some showers is right in here in the afternoon. And once that passes, you change from a southerly wind to a westerly wind off the lake, and uh, that's how you can get some lake effect to develop. Jet pinpoint for the lake shore for tonight. 56 to 60, partly to mostly cloudy. It'll become breezier, and it'll be much milder than last night when we had a low in the upper 40s. Okay, an evening sprinkle is possible inland, otherwise just breezy and milder. 50 to 54. Now, out to the east, Chautauqua, Warren, Forest, McKean counties, variably cloudy, not as cool, 47 to 53. For tomorrow, plenty of clouds moving in, very windy, showers in the afternoon, temperatures falling from the mid to upper 60s down into the 50s and then the 40s for tomorrow night with some showers at times. And chilly damp weather for Friday, only 51. Maybe an early shower Saturday, otherwise increasing sun, 56. Partly cloudy, 62 on Sunday. Monday also near 62. Uh, Tuesday, maybe some more showers and then maybe some more warmth a week from today. You can check out uh, all our weather cameras on the weather page at your ease.com. That is what it's about. Jill.